everyone we're on my floor today because this is going to be a huge unboxing of Mountain Castle if you're new here my name is Bev aka Momobi Diamond Paints I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel I upload new videos on a weekly basis all you have to do is click that red subscribe button so today as I said we're unboxing Diamond Art Club's Mountain Castle it comes in this huge freaking box it measures 98 by 70 centimeters so here we go with the little thumbnail of what you guys can expect. Sorry for the glare. It is very sunny out, which I'm not going to complain about, but there may be glare in this video. Oh my goodness. It's heavy. It's a heavy boy. A thick, heavy boy. Okay. So there spits out this. Here is a better look at the thumbnail, Mountain Castle. As you can see, there is uh, window panes, window panes, window panes, I don't know. Window panes and then the castle in the background. It is a square and here's the measurements again if you didn't hear me say that. Here's the toolkit that it comes with. If you've never ordered Diamond Art Club before, we can take a look. You get a pen, you get a tray, a clear tray with a bunch of baggies, tweezers, because it is a square kit, you will get these tweezers, another baggie, fun, a squishy for your pen, squish squish, two plates of wax, Ooh, these are so cute, I love them, and then you'll also get a four placer. I like the four placer. Oops, sorry, I just knocked the tripod. I really like the four placer because it is handy and I usually use a new four placer whenever I start a new kit. So there's that. I also use a 15 placer and a six placer. Those are my go to multi placers. You also get this giant sticker, Mountain Castle, and it's by Dominic Davison. Here's a bigger view of what we're looking at today. And on the right hand side here, we have the schematic or the color code, color grid thing, whatever you want to call it. It is a whopping 56 colors. I don't know if I've ever done a diamond painting with more than 50 colors. So that's something new. And if, again, if you're new to Diamond Art Club, you can actually cut these and then put them on your baggies or cut them and put them on your plastic containers, whatever you use to prep your diamond painting. Take out the giant ass canvas. Where's the opening side? I keep hitting the camera because it's right in front of me. I am sorry. As Yorelli would say, I'm not a professional unboxer. Doing it for fun, not being professional. Let's take out. Okay, okay, okay. You get two giant bags of drills. So you can see one of two and then two of two. Giant, just giant. You also will get this step-by-step -step instruction booklet. Some tips and tricks on diamond painting. Instructions on how to diamond paint, a thank you code, and that is handy if you want to hand it off to one of your friends who are starting diamond painting. The instructions on this are really great. Now let's take a look at what we're all here for. This thing is huge. Let me crawl onto it. Don't mind me, I'm in my pajamas. And there is a bit of glare from the sunlight, so let's see if we can move it back a little bit. I'm shimmying on my knees. I'm sorry, please do not judge me. This thing, I don't even have words for it. It's huge. It can't even fit in the entire frame. It's beautiful though. So here we have the window panes, a little jug of water, wine I'm guessing, probably wine some binoculars, 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 a writing quill, a quill, writing quill, whatever they're called, a nice little clock here, a wine glass, a candle, here's the castle, there's some birds in the skies, in the sky, in the skies, there's more than one sky, no, there's birds in the sky, 
Oh, this castle is amazing. This is going to definitely take a really long time, but I think it definitely will be worth it. There's just some bubbles underneath the clear packaging or the clear overlay, but those will come out. Wow. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I'm going to do a little, oh wait, there's a cute bird here. I never noticed that bird. It's so cute. It's just randomly sitting on the window frame pane thing. That's so adorable. Is there more birds? Negatron, I do not see any other birds, but that one is so cute. I'm going to do a little time lapse, not really a time lapse, but let's just do an overview of the canvas, like a little zoom up close of each part of the canvas, and then we'll come back. Welcome back. I hope you did enjoy that little tour of the canvas. I did a little tripod drone shot of it. Nothing super fancy, but also check out my cool slippers. I got these for Christmas for my sister. They're so cozy. They're kind of ridiculous, but they're so cozy. I love these slippers a lot. Anyways, back to the painting, what you're here for. We're gonna take a look closer look at the canvas so we can see the drill field. Not that we really need to. Here's some grapes. So as you can see, everything is really clear. I'm loving it, loving it. Why does this, this looks like it's a skeleton and these are the teeth. That's weird. So yeah, everything from what I can tell from the canvas, everything looks clear. There's gonna be some color blocking confetti as I like to call it. But for the most part, you should be able to at least use a four placer or even a 10 placer. Here is the schematic. Those symbols look really clear, nothing out of the ordinary. And again, it is 56 colors, which is amazing. The bottom here, you have information about the canvas, the measurements, and who it's licensed by. Or li it's licensed by Diamond Art Club, created by Dominic Davison. Dominic Davison has some really great canvases on the Diamond Art Club website and this one was one that I didn't see a lot of unboxings for so I was like oh I'll do an unboxing for it and add it to the collection of my other Diamond Art Club unboxings. Anyways let's take a look at the drills. Really there's so many drills I do not I definitely do not want to take them out of the packaging but I'm going to move up into the sunlight We'll take a look at the drills. There's so many drills. I do not, I definitely do not want to open them because it will be annoying to get them back into the bag. So for the sake of this unboxing, we're just gonna take a look at them this way. So as you can see, there's lots of purples, lots of blues, orange, so that is one of two. And then the second bag and last bag has some whites. I see an orange AB right here. Do, 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 do. I just vacuumed underneath my desk and there was an uh, absorb, uh, bleh. I just vacuum under my desk and there's a ridiculous amount of loose drills underneath it. Anyone else have loose drills under their desk that's stuck to their feet and then you go to the bathroom and you see drills in the bathroom? Raise your hand, please. Yes. Yes. Add me to that group. 
And as you can see from here, there's going to be two ABs. So a yellow, orangey, a mustardy AB plus an orange AB, 132, 133. And that's where this is the orange one, I'm guessing. I don't know if you can tell that it is an AB through the packaging. And where is that yellowy one? I don't know. I can't find the other yellowy one. Oh, there's an AB right there. You probably can't tell it's an AB, but it's right here. Let's look on the canvas where these ABs go. And then we shall end the video. Sorry, am I like yelling into the camera? So those ABs are labeled as one and two. Oops. I'm hoping that you can still see this. There is kind of shadows playing from the light, but there's going to be ABs down here. This orange color, orange color, in all the little windows here. There's going to be ABs along here. There's ABs in the leaves over there. There's ABs nicely sprinkled throughout. So there's some ABs down here. Oh, there's ABs. So there's going to be some special diamonds or Aurora Borealis diamonds throughout which is really cool and I like how they're sprinkled throughout and I think this one will look really great. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it after because it's so huge and it's not something that I really want to put up in my house but it's really nice. I really like it and what do you guys think about this canvas? Is it too big? Is there a point where you're like this canvas is too big I'm never going to work on it. I don't know when I'm going to work on this one to be honest. But do you guys love big canvases? Is there someone out there who's just addicted to big canvases and they love buying big canvases? I like medium sized ones and I really like snack sized ones. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this canvas. Is it something you would work on? And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I upload new videos on a weekly basis. If this video is helpful to you, go ahead and leave a thumbs up or you can hit a thumbs down if you hate me, which is fine because it'll still give me engagement on my video. So either or, win-win. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!